The Christian Church will soon celebrate Pentecost and some call this the birthday of the church. It's a day when the disciples were gathered together in the house in Jerusalem, possibly the same room as used in the last Passover meal that they ate with Jesus. They'd been told by Jesus to wait in Jerusalem and Jerusalem at that time was packed with pilgrims who had come to remember one of the three great feasts of the Jewish calendar mm -hmm. and that was the Feast of Weeks or Shavuot. And Acts chapter 2 says that suddenly a mighty rushing wind filled the entire house and tongues like fire rested on each one of them and they began speaking in other tongues. The Hebrew word for wind is ruach and it also means spirit. And the Holy Spirit is indeed holy. It blows in the direction of all that is holy. If you're out and about and you're walking into the wind, it takes a lot of effort and you don't get very far at all. But if you have the wind behind you, it helps propel you forward to keep you going forward. And so it is with the Holy Spirit. If we have the wind of the Holy Spirit behind us, it gives us power for action. It gives us power for transformation. It gives us power to keep going forward. And the Holy Spirit is very much at work today. Every born again believer receives the Holy Spirit when they become born again. And it's a seal, it's a seal by God to saying, you're now mine, you belong to me. And without the work of the Holy Spirit, no one is saved. But another important ministry of the Holy Spirit is the restraint of evil. As Christians, we're called to be salt and light. We're called to influence all that is good and interrupt everything that is evil in our world not just in our own lives, in our own communities, but in the world around us. The restraining power of the Holy Spirit will one day be set aside when the Antichrist will be revealed to a world that's becoming increasingly depraved. But this won't happen until God wills it. And once the Holy Spirit is removed, it will no longer restrain the growth of evil and all hell will literally be set loose on earth. Friends, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, there will come a day when you'll have to pay the eternal consequences of your sin. I would just encourage you to think and make this decision to say yes to Jesus, to say yes to have the transforming power of the Holy Spirit in your lives, to draw you closer and closer to God. Friends, I just pray that you will give your lives to Jesus so that when the day of judgment happens, you will be on the right side of eternity. Amen.